A brand new luxury community is being built in Brentwood, Tennessee. So stay tuned because in today's video, I am giving you a look at the Rosebrook neighborhood. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Martin and I am a local Nashville real estate agent and founder of the Caitlin Martin team powered by Weikert Realtors, the Andrews Group. I specialize in working with savvy sellers who want to sell right and sell smart as well as working with out-of-staters looking to relocate to the middle Tennessee area. Now, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, thank you so much. Please feel free to click subscribe down below so that you are notified anytime I release new video content. So in today's video, we're talking about the Rosebrook neighborhood. This is a stunning new luxury community. It's being built. It's actually off of Split Log Road and Sunset Road. This is going to be in the southeast portion of Brentwood. This is in Williamson County um, and it's it's in close proximity to Nolansville. So you may have heard me mention Rosebrook before because if you have seen either part one or part two of my Parade of Homes feature videos last year, the Parade of Homes was actually the very first six homes of this larger Rosebrook development. So the builders that are represented in the Parade of Homes, they are all represented building within the Rosebrook community. So if you want to get an idea of what kind of quality of finishes and the different design styles that you can get from various builders, I would recommend going and checking out part one or part two or both of my Parade of Home videos and I'll actually also link them down below just so you can go and take a look at that as well. Now Rosebrook is actually being developed on a total of 365 acres and this land actually has a little bit of a historic uh, story to it. In fact, it actually used to be a horse farm that was known for the world champion Arabian and Tennessee walking horses. And when the previous owners saw what the developers, which is CPS land along with Ford Homes, um, when they saw the vision, they really appreciated how even with this new community, they're really trying to integrate and build into the beauty of the land around it, really uh, highlight the beauty of the rolling hills, the babbling streams. They really wanted to honor the land in this new community and the development. And so that's why Rosebrook has been able to come to fruition. Now, like I mentioned, um, Ford Builders, they are not only part of the development team, they are actually one of the designated builders in this neighborhood because in this community, there's actually gonna be a total of 248 homes total when the entire neighborhood is completed. And if you take a look here, um, you can see the larger neighborhood map, just so you can see just the different lot sizes, the way that the neighborhood is planned out. Um, so as you can see, um, yes, Ford is the builder, but they're not the only builder because of course the builders that were also represented in the Parade of Homes do build in here and do build in Rosebrook as well. And those additional builders include Sipple Homes, Aspen Construction, Insignia, Legends, Schumer Homes, and Stonegate Homes. Now you may have heard me mention Ford Classic Homes before if you've seen any of my other videos uh, because they also build in a couple of different neighborhoods but Witherspoon specifically which I did do a neighborhood video about Witherspoon um, and also West Haven. So again you've got multiple builders in here and so that's something to know when you are looking at Rosebrook because the way that it works here in Rosebrook is that each of the builders get a certain amount of lots. Then you have the ability to meet with the builder, customize the home that you want it to be. However, I will tell you, there's also builder spec homes. So it's kind of dependent on the way that you plan to move and the timeline that you plan to move because you may be really interested in Rosebrook, but maybe you don't have the timeline to build, but that's where a spec home comes in. 
you also have the opportunity to contract the lot with a builder and then make the home customized to what it is that you are looking for. Now, when it comes to amenities, there are going to be great amenities here within Rosebrook. In fact, one of them is a gracious resort style amenity center. It's gonna feature two swimming pools, a clubhouse with covered porches, a gathering room, kitchen, conference room, and of course, restrooms. <laughs> so there's actually a walking trail system here within Rosebrook that connects to the larger Brentwood trail system. So if you want a community with close access for hiking or to go on walks, this is a great opportunity. They're also gonna have beautifully landscaped entrances. Of course, they're also going to have sidewalks within the community that are lit up for safety and also just for, you know, the fact that they're aesthetically pleasing. There will be parks and playgrounds within the neighborhood as well. And then there's even going to be an event lawn with a fireplace. So they're really trying to make sure that they cater to that more true luxury lifestyle here within Rosebrook. Now, when it comes to lot size, because I know that this can be a really big point for a lot of people. So in this community, all lot sizes are gonna range between half an acre and it can actually go all the way up to four acres, just depending on the lot. However, the four acres is gonna be far more rare most of the lots here in Rosebrook are gonna land between that half an acre to about three fourths of an acre. So you may be wondering about the price point here for Rosebrook. So here in Rosebrook currently, because of course, as you get further in the development, obviously builder pricing will go up. However, currently in Rosebrook to get a five bed, about 5,200 square foot house, you're looking at just around 2.75 million. And that's gonna sit on a little bit over half an acre lot. But then it really can scale up because you may be looking at other opportunities in this neighborhood that's like a five bedroom home. It's about 7,700 square feet and it sits on about three fourths an acre. That's gonna run you at about 4.95 million. So as you can see, pricing range, the, the size of home can range. Um, a lot of the homes currently, the spec homes, are sitting really between that 55 to 7,000 square feet. Um, so it just depends. Also, the other thing to know is because these lot sizes are a little bit bigger in terms of the fact that they're at least half an acre, some builders are also offering a, a pool allowance within the build. So that way you can go ahead and have pool plans uh, drawn up, created, and put in all before closing so it all gets wrapped up if you're doing a mortgage gets wrapped up into a mortgage otherwise um, it just gets wrapped up into the total price of a home so that way you don't have to worry about trying to get on a list and a wait list in terms of getting a pool and maybe waiting you know several months to a year year and a half depending on what kind of pool it is that you're looking for because those are some of the wait list times that we are seeing especially if you want a more customized pool not just say a fiberglass insert pool um, if you're really wanting that more customized gunite pool the wait list can uh, be several months to a year or a little bit over a year so then when it comes to schools rosebrook is actually zoned for jordan elementary sunset middle and Ravenwood High School. And really just as you're wondering about like what's the overall feel of the architecture style, I know I've referenced back to the Parade of Homes, but if you're just wanting to know like what the overall feel is that all these builders are going towards, you know, kind of what the, the architectural review committee is looking at when it comes to home plans, the goal really is to create a community of distinctive homes and really conform to what might be defined as classic architecture with English influence, French influence, Italian influence, and of course, American influence. You know, they want each home in here to be distinctive and unique in its style. However, when you're looking at the neighborhood overall, it still have a cohesive, put together, polished feel to it. So I hope this was helpful in just giving you an idea of what the Rosebrook community looks like here in the fall of 2023. I will continue to do update videos about Rosebrook as it continues to be built out because again, they're still in the beginning phases of this neighborhood for the most part. Uh, you can definitely still tell, you know, you've still got the manhole covers that are sticking up out of the street and there's still so many more 
um, lots and streets to be developed, but this is a great opportunity now to get in. Uh, just because again, like I said, with, with new builds in particular, the builders continue to increase the pricing and so it's always great to get in uh, sooner rather than later for the most part. But this is going to be an absolutely stunning community uh, by the time that it is completed. If, if you're interested in learning more about Rosebrook or the various builders in here or you're just looking for more luxury neighborhood opportunities within the Williamson County area, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. All of my contact information is down below. If you're ready to start that conversation, then just click down below to go ahead and book a Zoom discovery call with me where we can chat about what it is you're looking for and see if we're a great fit to work together. If you're not quite ready for that just yet, that's okay too. Please don't ever hesitate to reach out with any questions or comments. Um, again, my name is Caitlin Martin. I'll see you next time.